We are currently studying the Word of God on the mighty name of Jesus. I want to uh, emphasize today this, that we must believe in the name. You see, the name of Jesus is not just a lucky, good luck charm or, you know, some magic or open sesame and all things happen. You know, it's not a, a, a magic word. You no, know, we must use the name by having faith in the name in the person behind the name. We understand uh, the importance of using the name of Jesus with faith in our heart. And he just said, you, should, you have to have faith just as, just as simple as, as a mustard seed and you will see results. And in order for us to quicken our faith, we engage in prayer and fasting and, and it helps us you know, to strengthen our faith. But faith is what is important there in the use of the name of Jesus. When we use the name of Jesus, the scriptures tell, telling us we must have faith in that name. The prayer of faith will cause uh, the, the power that's in that name to be released. As believers, we must understand that what we have made available to us in Jesus' name, and we must step out boldly on that. You know, uh, in that same incident uh, that we referenced about Peter and John walking into the temple, and they see this man who's lame uh, from, the, from his birth, uh, whom they brought daily to lay this man at the at the gate of the temple so that he could beg. Uh, and as Peter and John were passing by, and this man was begging uh, for alms. But what did Peter say? Peter says, Acts chapter 3 and verse 6, the Bible records, verses 6 and 7, the Bible records for us. Peter said, silver and gold I do not have, but what I have I give you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. One of the things that will really, really uh, motivate us and encourage our hearts, give us this confidence, is for us to know who we are in Christ. That's another important thing, for you to be established in your identity in Christ. Who you are in Christ is who you really are. That's your true identity spiritually, and you live out of that spiritual identity. So it'll give you confidence to move in authority and dominion and use the name of Jesus. From now on, in the remainder of this series, we're gonna talk about different things that are there in the name and how that applies to our own lives and also when we minister to people. So first of all, there is forgiveness in the name of Jesus. Why are sins forgiven? Sins are forgiven because of the name of Jesus. Secondly, there is salvation in Jesus name. So when we call upon the name, the Bible says whoever calls upon that name, they will be saved. Thirdly, we see that in the name of Jesus, there is eternal life. When we mention that name in faith, we can expect the life of God and the light of that life to act in that place, in your own being or for somebody else. Uh, the Zoe life of God will transform them, change them, will dispel darkness out of them all in that name. We must understand that in that name, we have been washed, sanctified, and justified. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you are washed, that means you're completely clean. You are sanctified, that means you're set apart for God, you've been made holy, and you're justified, that means you've been put right with God. There is no judgment against you, no condemnation against you, and it all happened in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the power of the Holy Spirit. As a believer, you need to know this is what is yours in Jesus' name. You can say boldly in His name, I am washed, I am sanctified, I am justified because I have believed in that name and that name has done this, has brought this into my life. You and I are baptized in the name of Jesus. I want us to understand the significance of being baptized in the name of Jesus. That when and somebody baptizes you in the name of Jesus, uh, by the authority of Jesus, in the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, what that means is this, that you are taking on that person. In Galatians 3.27, it says, as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. That means when we are baptized in Jesus' name, you're saying, I have put on Christ. From now on, I'm gonna reveal Jesus in the way I live. I'm gonna model my life after him so that he is seen in and through my life.